What's going on YouTube? Era of Carthage here, and hey, just over a year ago in September of 2018, I got to show you this awesome B450 Tomahawk motherboard from MSI, and I'll put a link in the description. I gave you a whole video that you'll get to see like a quick, fast uh, run through here of how to build your own all AMD streaming PC to dominate Total War or any other game that you want to play uh, and be able to stream it and be like me, get to make content on YouTube or Twitch or wherever you do. In any case, um, they have a really exciting product out. That, why is it exciting? Well, because it's the B450 Tomahawk over again, except better. You might be saying, Air, why would I need the same motherboard again? Well, let me describe what is different. So, yes, MSI has a new motherboard out for you all. It is the B450 Tomahawk Max. Now, this product was brought about because of the new Ryzen 3000 series processors. There is backwards compatibility with the original B450 Tomahawk and third generation Ryzen. There are some subtle differences to this new board, though, that make it really exciting. Now, if you have an old B450 Tomahawk that you used previously because you watched my video or had one on your own, that's great, you can still use it in a similar, but if you have not picked up a B450 Tomahawk and you want to go make a Ryzen third generation build and you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on just the motherboard, then this is the way to do it. X570 motherboards are amazing, but they're still pretty expensive. If you want to do this on a budget, this is the way to go. This motherboard is absolutely awesome and I'm here to tell you about it. And not on this video, but coming up next week, I'm gonna do another full build. So a 2019, how to build your own PC. And this time um, I will tell you how to do a budget option, but we're gonna build a beast PC and show you that how, even though you can have a budget motherboard, you can build a budget beast, max. Get it? Maximum performance, minimum hassle. That's what MSI tells me this board's all about. And I agree with them and I'm gonna tell you why. So let's jump into it. Take a look at this new B450 Tomahawk Max. I wanna jump into what makes this board different from the last generation. Well, most things are the same, and that's a good thing. You can go look at reviews outside of me, and this was one of the most acclaimed motherboards of the B450 series out there, period, made by anybody because it just delivered a fantastic value uh, with great, great capability and mirror that with the price, and you just, you had a real winner. All kinds of tech enthusiasts really recommended this board, as do I. Anyway, the B450 Max comes with a larger BIOS chip, which is going to help with compatibility with all the new Ryzen 3000 processors, and it comes ready on the shelf for Ryzen 3000. If you buy an original B450, it can be upgraded, the BIOS can, but it has to be flashed before you're able to use the new Ryzen 3000 CPU. So the Max comes ready for it. And honestly, I was looking at the price on these two boards and they were pretty much the same. So there's really no reason not to grab the new one if you're out there doing a build for the first time. Now, if you own the original, which was an awesome board to begin with, you can always update it. But the larger BIOS chip on this one is gonna mean that it's gonna also be better going forward as it will continue to have nice compatibility as new CPUs come out from AMD. Also, this one supports higher RAM speed the older motherboard was capped at 3466 for the max RAM speed support. And this one goes all the way up to 4133 megahertz, which is just blazing lightning fast RAM speed. And that makes a difference with the third generation Ryzen CPUs. It helps boost their performance. Also, it comes with USB 3.2 ports instead of 3.1. So slightly better performance there. And then of course, the new board, as you saw in the pictures that I'll flash up there again now, is black instead of the silver like you were seeing on the old one. Now, long and short of it is, if you're out there looking to do a third generation Ryzen build and take advantage of all the, the awesome features of the new processors, then you're not gonna find a better value than the B450 Tomahawk Max. I love this board. I kept it in this extra build that I've had at my house ever since they sent it to me last year, and I've recommended it to just about anybody who comes to me asking to build a computer. It's because it really is fantastic. And really one of the only reasons I don't use this is because I'm blessed to have enough money and the sponsorship that I can use even fancier ones. But I'm telling you, if I was out there and money was on mine and I had to pick one, this is what I would pick. Now, like I said, I am gonna do a build video, but let's just real quick, I'll show you what's in the box. Um, you've got basically all your warranty, quick installation, a reminder that if you review products for MSI, you have a chance to win prizes. It comes with a couple of SATA cables for plugging in hard drives, optical drives, whatever you need there. It's got an input-output shield, obviously. 
Nice neutral black color, does exactly what you need it to. Here's those SATA cables, handy for someone doing a new build. You got your drivers on a disc if needed. Otherwise, obviously, you can connect to the internet and download those straight from the site. Um, you got a manual here. I have done a lot of builds with MSI's motherboards, and these manuals are great. They have a lot of solid information for someone doing their first build. And you even get this sweet dragon decal, which I absolutely love for putting on the front of my builds just to let everybody know that it's dragon dominant. Anyway, yeah, that's what comes in the box. Again, max performance, min hassle. Not a whole bunch of stuff. It's exactly what you need for your build. All right, folks, so I put together two parts lists for you, and I will have a link to them in the video. This is on PC Part Picker. You all can go check these out for yourself. And I'm giving you two options. The first one is amazing because that this is just where we're at in late 2019. Building a PC is about as affordable as it's ever going to get, and I'm going to tell you the strategy. This first one is what I call max performance, minimum hassle, budget version, meaning let's say that you want to get the parts, build your own PC just to get your foot in the water, something that's going to run your games at high, but, but as best as possible, fit a budget that you have to work hard for, and that's what I've got here. And especially if you get out and get a copy of Windows for a good price, which is totally possible. This is without Windows, but $779 US right now for this build. It's a Ryzen 5 2600, the B450 Tomahawk Max from MSI. You got 16 gigs of RAM, terabyte of hard drive, an SSD to boot up faster and to run your favorite games off of, an MSI G4 1660 Ti, great for running the games um, in terms of uh, getting good 1080p performance. And then this is kind of a good deal here. I thought this case from Cooler Master was awesome. You get RGB and tempered glass for only 67 bucks. Now this is a steal because we're gonna keep this thing for later and I'll show you what you can do with this PC eventually or even now. Plus it's gonna look great. You can get a budget build and it looks awesome. You can't beat that with a stick. And then for the power supply, I've got a nice 600 watts Braun power supply. So this is a budget version. Now the cool thing about this budget version is you can get it now, you can save up, get it this holiday, you're gonna have a computer that's a boss at 1080p thanks to this B450 Tomahawk Max board and the flexibility that it gives you. You don't have to go in and break the bank to have an awesome computer. And I will show you a build I have that is very close to this exact same thing and how good it runs in the next video where we do the builds. But I basically have a build very similar to this um, built up already. Then we also have the what I like to call max performance min hassle beast mode. <laughs> so this is if you want to take this B450 Tomahawk Max to the max. Hey, max performance min hassle, right? So a Ryzen 9 3900X. Well, air. Why would someone buy a budget motherboard and then the most expensive chip? Well, I'm just I'm giving you a thought. You can do this here, but also. 200 IQ, right? You want to be 200 IQ? You don't spend a ton of money now, and then maybe a little while from now when this 12-core processor is a little cheaper, boom, 200 IQ, you got the motherboard that'll run it without having to break the bank, and you get a good deal on the processor later. So yeah, think about that. But anyway, this is a $1,600 build, and this thing will be an absolute killer in gaming, streaming, whatever you want it to do, an absolute beast of a PC. So Ryzen 9 3900X on that B450 Tomahawk Max, with a liquid cooler, 32 gigs of RGB um, goodness with the RAM, a terabyte M.2 SSD for blazing fast load times and boot up, an MSI Radeon 5700 XT for amazing gaming performance even at 2K or 4K, and then the same case, just to show you all here, the, sometimes a good deal is just a good deal, right? And then um, I threw in a gold certified modular power supply this time but yeah, this board can go at both ends of the spectrum, from absolute budget to absolute beast. I can't wait to show you all the builds. Please come back next week and check out the builds. Thank you to MSI for sending this motherboard over to me. I'm actually super excited about this because I've been waiting on this board to show you all what I think is the best way to build a computer in late 2019, hopefully in time for the holidays, which are coming up too. So if you've been good, been saving your money, or you're ready to just jump in, I got the builds for you. Anyway, stay tuned. Air of Carthage signing out for now. Join me next week and come check out the step-by-step -step build video with the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max.